reputation. So um, if you're a, that's great, man. That's just fantastic. Uh, well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So I want to do a little bit of a different video and I've been thinking about doing this for a couple of days now and just being out here with the pigs this morning has really kind of given me the idea that I, you know, I've got it on my mind and I just need to say it. So um, this is an opinion video. That's all it is, is an opinion. Um, and y'all know just like uh, certain parts of the body, everybody's got one. So this is mine. And I want to talk a little bit about sort of the situation that's going on right now with the coronavirus, COVID-19, and the commercial hog industry. And I'm sure a lot of you are seeing on social media and news and that kind of thing how some of these large commercial hog growers are having to depopulate, which is a very nice way of saying kill, um, a lot of their hogs that they've been growing uh, in their commodity hog houses. Reason for that is a lot of the processing plants are shut down or at reduced capacity because of workforce issues with their workforce contracting the coronavirus. So these guys are stuck with pigs that they can't get processed. And it's expensive to keep feeding those pigs and keep putting money into those pigs that they know they're eventually just, they're, they're not gonna be able to get them processed because when those processing plants come back online, the industrialized farming system has created such tight parameters around sizes, a lot of those commercial processing plants just aren't set up to process larger pigs. So the farmers are offloading tons of these, just what we call hothouse, hothouse pigs onto the market. And so you see lots of ads for, you know, pigs that are, you know, 20, 40, 50 bucks. And what's happening is either those commercial farmers are selling them direct to the public or they're selling them to other farmers, kind of like me, who have pasture-based operations, small family farms, and then those guys are turning around and selling them to customers. So, and I'm not mad at anybody for doing that. I understand why the commercial farmers are selling off their stock. Um, they're just trying to, they're trying to save their butt um, because they don't want to keep pouring money into those pigs that they're never going to be able to do anything with. And I understand small farmers like me who are, you know, you're operating on a pretty thin line and, you know, you're trying to make, make some money. So I, I get that. But a couple of things I want to say. Number one, if you're a customer, um, be real careful about buying those pigs because I can't get a processing date for these guys. And chances are you, as just somebody off the street who has no relationship with a processor, you're not going to get a processing date either. So then you're going to be stuck with two, three, four, five, however many of these $40 pigs that you buy with no place to go. So now you've got these pigs that, you know, you have no way of processing. So it's not a cheap way to put meat in your freezer. If you are buying those pigs and you can't get a processing date and you have no experience raising pigs, um, those pigs are going to suffer. And nobody wants that. That's, that's what we're trying to, you know, avoid on the front side is just euthanization of these pigs. So if you're a customer, be real careful about what you're buying. Ask questions. Where do those pigs come from? How have they been raised? Can you get a processing date? Can somebody help you process them? Do your homework. Understand what you're getting. Don't be lured in by the temptation of cheap, quick meat to put in your freezer. Now, to farmers like me, you guys that are buying those things, not mad at you for doing that. Again, I certainly understand why you're doing it, but make sure your customer who you're selling that to, whether you're selling them a pig or whether later on you're selling them a processed product, make sure your customer gets a good experience. Short-term gain is not worth your, um, y'all or something. Short-term gain is not worth your reputation. Um, so if you're gonna sell those pigs, make sure that your customers are getting a good experience. Help them find a processing date if you can. If you have the ability to process for them, and you can process that pig on your farm for your customer, do that. Make sure they get a good, a good experience. Um, 
But then on the back side, if you keep those pigs and raise them up, I admire you for doing that. If you're going to put them in your pasture uh, program like this, I admire you for doing that. Those pigs are going to be tough to raise. Seen lots of posts, heard lots of folks talk about these pigs. They're getting, they're buying these commodity pigs, they're getting them on their farm and they're having a lot of health issues, digestive problems, breathing problems, skin problems, just fill in the blank on problems. So um, if you're going to buy them, put them on your pasture program, I admire you for doing that. But on the back side, again, protect your reputation. Don't sell that thing as a, proce as a processed product. Don't sell it as something that it's not. So, you know, I, I think there's, you know, it's just, it's a rough time. Um, it's a rough time for everybody. It's a rough time for us. You know, we've got tons of demand, tons of demand. But number one, I don't have animals that are ready to go. I can't get a processing date. And we're not going to do something here on our farm that compromises our reputation. So um, if you're, a, that's great, man. That's just fantastic. Um, so if you're a customer of ours, um, just know that at Sheraton Park Farms, we're not trying to make a quick buck. We're not changing our process. We're not trying to speed things up. We're gonna keep doing things the exact same way we've been doing them. Nice and slow, pigs out on pasture, chickens out on pasture, animals that we've raised from either day old chicks that we farrowed uh, or whatever the case there might be. So again, you know, this is, this is an opinion piece. Um, I'm sure lots of folks out there are gonna have different opinions. I certainly welcome those. Um, you know, it's a, again, it's a tough time and we're all trying to find our way through and figure out how to figure out how to make it and how to, uh, how to get through this together. So um, I think that's enough. Um, leave me a comment down below, uh, blow me up. That's fine, I certainly don't mind. Um, if you're going to put yourself out there like I do, uh, you got to be ready to take your lumps. So um, anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, follow along with us, what we got going on here at the farm. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks. Don't eat my boot, man. <laughs>